Hi guys, so today we're going to be playing The Outer Worlds and I finally fixed my computer. Um, I actually already played this for like an hour and it wasn't recording, like I guess my microphone wasn't working so I fixed it so we're replaying it so I already know some of the stuff that happened which kind of sucks but you know at least I'll be a little bit better because I'm not a good video game player, I'm bad at playing video games so it probably be it'll probably be funny to watch me play I'm going to be doing walkthroughs um but I don't know if it'll help you or not but we're gonna do it all right so we're gonna click new game and we're gonna do story no we're gonna, not story story how do I go back okay back escape okay so we're gonna go to normal because you know story mode's too easy so we're gonna go to normal Okay, so, I can't talk. So, I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to, like, talk during the whole intro of it, because I didn't know if you guys wanted to watch it or not, so yeah. Okay, so, I'm trying to do this- I'm trying to do- I'm trying to do this fast, um, so- So, like, we can get to the game, because I already did this, so, I'm just going through it really fast. But I did read all these, but depending on what you get, it gives you an aptitude bonus, and I think I'm gonna do this one. I bet you're a genius with a mop. I am a genius with a mop. I'm picking that one because that's something I didn't do. Because I've started this game already, like, so I'm just gonna, I'd pick something different. I'm trying to make this as fast as possible, but I can't guarantee that it's gonna be. Well, I'm not going to make the game fast as possible, I'm trying to make this fast as possible. I'm probably going to skip through it and then show you my character when I'm done. Only so we can just get straight into the game. So yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so I have my character. Okay, so I always have a basic name, my middle name, because I never can figure out a really cool name for the character. Honestly, she looks like Katniss Everdeen, so, um, yeah, but, mm, I feel like it'd be cringy if I named her Katniss Everdeen, so let's not. Okay, so we're gonna click enter, and we're gonna start the game. Um, that's weird. Okay. Okay. All right. So this is my final, like, I have, I can't talk. I think I'm just really hyped because I just want to start the game. So this is my final, um, everything. I have good strength, high dexterity, so I can shoot really fast. Good intelligence, good perception, good charm, and average temperament. And then I have Corrosion Damage Received, negative 3%. And then all my skills are right there. We're going to start the game. And I'm not going to talk during cutscenes only so you guys know what's going on. And I'm trying to- I don't want to be like annoying, so yeah. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. going on, eh? A bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of sleep space. It was supposed to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on Earth have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Is something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Not at all, but uh, I guess we'll see. Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. It'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Could you imagine um, waking up 70 years later and then having to do something extraordinary and everyone's counting on you? That would suck. Well, I mean, how could they actually count on you? They're frozen. They don't know what's going on. So, I mean, like, if you fail, it's okay. <laughs> Just kidding. Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He used to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry. I'm told he's a specialist. Dash you, gunslinger, one-of-a-kind ship, that sort of thing. You like him, I'm sure. 
I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm all of the communists who are counting on you. It's like I know what I'm doing, probably because um, I played this um, for an hour and then I found out that it wasn't, that my medic wasn't working. Like, oh, I love that. Too bad I still probably die, honestly. Because, you know. Because, you know, I'm not good at playing. So, we're headed down here. Oh, that was so loud. Easy now. You've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Okay. Okay. So, we're gonna head over down here. And one momento. Okay, so, um, I guess we're gonna jump this. Last time I jumped this, it, no matter what I do, I think I'm still gonna get hurt. Because I think it's basically set telling you you have low health to use this, use the F key to bring your health back up. So, that's what we're gonna do. Alright. So. Hey, you, come here. Maybe I don't want You've to. You've tried the best now. <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stinks. I think it's funny, like, they didn't give me a choice. They're like, nope, you're talking to him. Sit still, I'll patch you up. Uh, looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Mm, I know you, you do. don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. What happened to you? We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired right through my sight. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just what barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. <laughs> Bless me. Okay, <laughs> anyways. What's this about marauders? What, what were you doing out here? What were you doing Investigating out here? an illegally grounded ship. All spacecraft must arrive and depart from authorized landing pads. That's board law, that is. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? I've got a better idea. Give me your gun and I'll go get help. Someone grounded their ship illegally, I'll hunt them down for you. You're an idiot. Give your, me your gun before you get yourself killed. Let's persuade them. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's, Spacer's Choice. 
Oh my god. Yes, nailed it that time. Can you tell me where I am? Do you know anything about the hope? Eh, I'm just gonna leave it at. I'm off. <laughs> okay. Oh, you didn't even like flinch? How lame. Damage my ears! Oh, what just happened? Can you hear me? Are sprats bad guys? They actually look really cute. I want one as a pet. They don't seem to hurt you, so I'm assuming they're not bad. Okay. Hibernation's complications detected. Tactical di time dilation. Due to complications stemming from your revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Pressing the tactical time dilation button shows down slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as take action. You have limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your TTD meter very slowly while moving in attack drains it faster. The TTD me meter refreshes slowly over time, which is Q. So let's test it out. Okay. Cool. Okay, there's a marauder over there. And it looks like <laughs> the monster's ink tanks are over there. Let's see if he screams. No! Fuck, I fucked up. Dang it. Of course. You poopoo head. I didn't even blow him up. How disappointing. Oh, wait, did I? I did. He's over here. Heck yeah. Okay, I was supposed to get really sad that I didn't kill him. Like, that would have sucked booty hole. Because he walked away. Because I missed, of course. Because, you know. You know me. I'm, I'm a noob. But I do like these, like, monsters in space looking tanks. So they're pretty sick. I guess one good thing is, like... Because I have sneak, I can take lots of you. Ooh, I don't like that noise. You sound a little evil. So let me check my inventory real quick before we go anywhere. Weapon man 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 weapon management. You you can have up to four weapons equipped at a time by dragging them up to the slots at the top of the screen. On this page, you can also inspect your weapons, compare them, flag them as junk, or break them down for parts. Players with the engineering skill can repair weapons on the screen as well. Should have did the engineering thing. Well. Let's do the one with the most damage. I also like that it knocks down. That's pretty sick. Okay, so we're gonna put that one there. We already have two of these, so we don't need both. Armor management. Drag armor or helmet items up to the equipment slots to wear them. You can also manage your armor here. Break them down, inspect them, compare to other armor, tag them as junk, or drop them. Okay, I only have that, so rip. Consumables here. You can use junk or drop your consumables. They can be used directly to gain a variety of boosts. Your emergency medical inhaler is shown at the top of the screen. It uses adrenals fuel to heal you in an emergency and always keeps it loaded into slot 1. Increase your medical skill to unlock more drug mixing slots that can hold all types of consumables, not just Adreno. Each slot is mixed into every puff of inhaler for combined effects. Your medical skill increases the duration of all these effects. Okay. So basically I need this Adreno to heal myself and everything else is locked so I can't do anything else with that. I don't have any modifications and I don't- I have mag picks in general and I guess this is my quest. And this is junk. Got it. Alright, let's continue. Oh, Marauders. Are you slow? Yo, where they go? They disappeared. They're like in the grass somewhere and I can't find them. That's that oh, there you are. Did I take it? Uh, whatever. Let's just go. How lame. Hey! Get over here before you get yourself killed! Maybe I don't wanna. Then 
know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that run, Leech. Landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Mm. So I heard I found one of your teammates holed up in the cave. I'm gonna do this. Really? How is he? I still mourn. I hope you're. I hope you're a little brighter. Oh my god. Shouldn't have done that. Space's Choice family ain't authorized to receive medical aid from off-brand physicians. We'll see him back to Edgewater. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with a swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Space's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. Oh, now I'm getting in trouble. You know, need a couple of weeks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs, son. Dude. Did I just rat that kid out by accident? Because I wasn't trying to do that. Oops, my bad. Okay. Do Space's choice guards back down from a challenge? Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Here Let's go, go, man. I wanna kill him. I wanna kill him. I wanna kill him. Thank you. Yo! Did they just kill them all? I didn't even have to do anything. <laughs> I mean, I'm down. Let's go inside and see what's going on in here. Uh, okay, so we're going to go into here and see what happens. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Oh, sure. Marauder. Please be informed that oh, your enemy is dangerous for our health. Unauthorized access of space-faring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authority. Hello, Marauder. I am Ender, I'm the not a Marauder. digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. What are you going to do? Self-destruct? Jetson procedures initiated. Disengaging airlocks. The plan is to eject all four cars in five, four, three, two, one. You realize we're on the ground, right? My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. I need to get the ship in the air, man. I'm incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. <laughs> Hawthorne was supposed to be when I landed. Hawthorne's dead, sorry. Your captain's a red smear under my escape pod. Oh my god. I'm gonna be a savage and say that. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience. I feel and bad for this robot, honestly. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? I get it. You need me to be Captain Hawthorne, or you can't well, fly. Well Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. I love our the depressing music. And we are forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Where am I supposed to find something like that? The settlement of Edgewater is located in Clay. I recommend speaking to the administrator of Edgewater and requesting assistance. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. 
This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. Knock it off with this Captain Hawthorne nonsense. Oh my god. Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Best of luck in your search for our power regulator. Try to stay, stay alive this time. Oh my god. I'll stay alive, I got you. Okay. Before we go anywhere, I just wanna take a look. You've been promoted, level up, congratulations, you've gained enough experience to gain up a level. Open your character ledger to advance your character. Leveling up increases your health points, gives you points to upgrade your skills, as well as gives you access to a new perk every other level. Keep leveling up and you'll be upper management material in no time. Tab view ledger. Okay. New Tab. Tab. Workbench. The workbench allows you to repair, upgrade, and modify your weapons and armor, keeping your combat ready in tip-top shape at all times. On each screen, first select the weapon or armor item that you want to work on, then choose what you want to do with it. Repair it, break it down for parts, modify it with a mod, or tinker to upgrade it. Party. Okay, so... Oh, these need repairing. Oh, okay, do I have... I mean, I guess I'll repair it then. But do I want to repair it? I don't know how to repair it. I think I need parts that I don't have, so... So we're gonna climb up here. So let's look around. Want to be a brand new... Oops. Choosing a respect refunds all your skill spent skill points and perk points, then you can spend them in a different way. The price to respect will increase each time you use the machine. Ooh. I'm assuming this costs real money, so I'm not gonna do it. But it is cool machine. that you can do that in case you don't like your character or your skills. This is the power regulator. Which will be important to know, so we can just go there right away. Oh, okay, I love when I miss the ladder. Oh, okay. The ship's engines cannot be powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. There's something, like, in here. Oh my god, we can add the salt tuna. Let's go. Partay. These are the crew's quarters. Alex preferred to travel alone, but he always had me. Due to catastrophic power failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. Okay, okay, let's just go, because, you know, we have nothing better to do. Alright. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, man, you owe Spacer's choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we get a doctor pay. Uh, really? After I patched up your friend? Oh, that's that's messed up. Attack? You got it all wrong. I'm a starship safety right? Spectre. Well, I don't want to attack them. I'll wave your face since you helped us with those marauders. If you're looking for work, talk to the constable down at Edgewater. She's got a bounty on marauders. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Take care. We have conversation. Okay, so let's, we gotta go all the way over to Edgewater, so let's do this. Okay, I see a marauder right there, so we gotta be a little careful so they don't kill us. They probably won't, but you know it's good. We're not crouch so this marauder doesn't oh, okay we love when i don't actually crouch okay so we're just okay i guess i can't run and crouch at the same time i thought i saw a marauder but i don't know maybe oh yep it's over there sneak by
Whoa, that scared me. Back off. Bit. Ew, did you see his parts go everywhere? That was really gross. <laughs> Maybe I could search his parts. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I'm just searching his little parts. Ah, that's so funny. Okay. Not gonna lie, that spaceship looks pretty dope. Aw, these poor residents. So, I don't know if I mentioned this before. I think I did. Um, I already played this game for an hour and it wasn't recording. I have something wrong with my thing, so like, sometimes it doesn't record, so yeah, I'm just hoping that I don't have to do this over again, because it's really annoying. I just want to do gameplay on YouTube. I think it's fun. Even if I'm a noob, like, I've done this gameplay like three times because it didn't record like three times, so that's my luck. Whoa, hey, where'd you come from? Chinatown. That's where I came from. All right, so let's go. Transition to Edwater. Let's do this. So I guess we're going to head to the town leader right now and see what going on let's go <laughs> honestly this music if I heard some elevator I think I'd be creeped out not gonna lie the grease monkey Argo I'm sorry Mr. Thompson sorry you asked why it's taking so long to fix. The answer's technical. Don't apologize. Just try using small words for me. The cans bust open in the oven because she's set to cook sautuna, which isn't what we thought. You Mr. Thompson? I think there's someone here to see you. Focus, Miss Holcomb. You and I are still talking. Let's start over. Walk me through the process. Show me where it's going awry. Well, sure. It's, uh... Mostly on account of what we're feeding into the mechanism. It puts food in cans. We have food, we have cans. Why won't it work like we need? She's expecting the saltuna of a certain size. We're filling the cans with... Well, not fish. Seems we've got a guest. Really not, Pavari. I do wish you'd spoken up. I, I do did. apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. <laughs> You must be the town boss. I'm not waiting till you finish because you've already finished. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. I don't work for Spacer's Choice. Of course not. I don't have that kind of luck. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. My ship needs repair and I'm looking for a power regulator. The only regulator we've got is the pump into the town transformer. Mr. Thompson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Let's hear it. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along the way. When you say mostly abandoned, what do you mean? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. 
What a surprise, I never would have guessed. I don't think people would, will take kindly to losing their power. No, I do not imagine they will be pleased. But like a parent disciplining an unruly child, you will be doing them a kindness. The people living in the Botanical Labs, they're deserters, former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Tell me what I need to do. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the Botanical Lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go. And that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Alright, Reed, I'll see what I can do to help you. My dad told me all about the plants. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holton, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine, and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Sure, I could use the company. Great! I got my wrenches, and diagnosticators, and hairpins, and engine tape, so... I'm all set! Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Let's get going. Companions. You've gained a companion. They are characters that join in your adventures and help in a variety of ways. Companions provide combat support. Their skills enhance your skills. They increase your carrying capacity, which is super lit. Okay. You can unlock special companion combat abilities with the inspiration skill. Learn more about your companions in the companion ledger. We're getting pretty close to where I stopped um, and where it stopped recording and it didn't record at all and I was really sad. So I'm hoping that it's recording right now. So, yeah. Let's she didn't even react. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. I don't understand why you can't talk now. Okay. Hey, man. Can you talk? Sorry. sorry. This girl's really insecure. You got a Sorry. She I said sorry too much. You just want to get out of here. This poor and girl. you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters, on account of it's his job and, and what all, but that's not the only side of the tale. This is about the, the deserters. What is the other side of it? Figures Reed doesn't exactly strike me as the most honest soul. Hmm. What? He seemed pretty straightforward to me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, he ain't a liar. He believes every word he says. Oh. He's just. He doesn't always get where other folk are talking from. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. I can't blame anybody for wanting to leave. The town's got issues. How well did you know the deserters? Hmm. Did you know that this Adelaide Reed mentioned? Miss McDevitt? Oh, gosh, no. She was a real important person. A flavorist. Made all the food taste decent. She used to work up in the big office with Mr. Thompson. All I know is she left after her son died. It was a real big to-do. I could hear them both yelling clear from my own place. I'm sure the deserters are very fine people, so what? Mr. Thompson is aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, no heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. It's just... It don't seem right to me, man. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Okay, so it's optional. I'll think about it. Leave conversation. Okay. So we have the option to go talk to the town's vicar, but I don't know if it's, like, important to the... Uh, the plot line, but you know, we can go see the town's vicar really quick and see what he has to say. And we'll stop so here. It's here. this for now, and we'll continue on the next 
video. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time.